Mr. Cornell, <laughs> I have been friendly, and I have been neighborly, and I have been cordial. Well, I don't know what it is that you're trying to be. Well, I was appreciative the first night you carried my trunk up the stairs. The fact that it slipped and fell five flights of stairs, five flights of stairs, was not your fault. And I didn't mind that little message that you painted on the stairs. Well, I thought it was crazy, but sort of sweet. However, things have now gone too far. <laughs> and I got your little note. <laughs> I can guess the gist of you, even though I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Mr. Cornell. I can do without you leaving little chocolate almond Hershey bars in my mailbox. Well, they melted yesterday, and I got three gooey letters from home with us in them. And I can do without you sneaking onto my balcony after I go to work and painting it. Well, I stepped out there yesterday, and my slippers are, are still glued to the floor. And I can do without you tying large bottles of O2 cologne to my cat's tail. She kept swooshing it yesterday, and then it beat herself to death. But most of all, Mr. Cornell... I can do without you watching me get on that bus every day through that that high power telescope. Why you got me so nervous the other day? I got on the wrong bus. In short, Mr. Cornell, and I don't want to have to say this again. Leave me alone.